Hi everybody, it's June 19, 2018. Weather events are still disrupting and destroying people's lives all over the world. In India, flash floods have killed more than a dozen and have left over one million displaced. Europe, Switzerland, Italy, Germany, Austria, flooding. Flooding in France is causing major destruction and deaths. Japan, they had a 6.1, five people dead, over 240 injured. Hell, we're having earthquakes up here in South Carolina. But is it really a surprise when I have shown you time and time again these ultra-low frequencies being set off in the upstate and right here we had an earthquake in the upstate and this is the second one in South Carolina Oklahoma already today 3.3 Perry Oklahoma 2.6 Union City Oklahoma 2.3 Bedford Oklahoma but what did we see in the upper peninsula that took place yesterday flash flooding 60 sinkholes and take a look at these videos that show a tremendous amount of destruction This is insane. This is Lake Linden, Tamarack City. Ripley, Houghton, Hancock. All over. This is what happened. This is from the rain that we got. That is, this town's destroyed, dude. This is going to take years for them to rebuild it. I mean, look at that. A city turned upside down in under five hours. The devastation continues in Houghton just days after receiving between seven and eight inches of rain. It doesn't happen very on, uh, often. It's definitely a hundred year plus storm, I would imagine. Um, it just was too much water um, at a quick duration. It was like a three hour period from 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. 
none of the storm drains or culverts could handle it. Out of all the storms that have happened here in Copper Country, they've never seen anything like this. There are over 50 roads that are damaged and they're projecting over millions of dollars in repairs. I know there's a lot of um, home repair, a lot of flooded houses that have been damaged, some se very severe. We've severe. had a lot of landslides, so we're just trying to, open, like I said, open up the roads and make it safe. Something like this is very common in California, mudslides and everything. And we've always said the great thing about living up here is we don't have those kind of disasters. We have snow and that's it. Uh, but this, this is an event. We've been here 39 years. We've never seen anything like this, this much rain in such a short period of time. Authorities are still assessing the level of damages. Officials are asking the community to use extreme caution when out on the road. I just advise everyone to be cautious. I mean, the water has subsided a little bit, but uh, it doesn't take much water to sweep someone down river. So um, I would just be cautious if they're out in the areas that we have damage. The city is currently working with local contractors to start fixing the roads. They're estimating that it will take the majority of summer or even longer to finish all the roads. The road commission will be posting about what roads are closed off to traffic. I just want to interject with this a reminder. The New World Order plans exposed by Insider in 1969. I'm not going to get into it because I posted many videos on this transcript of Dr. Lawrence Dunnigan. This transcript, uh, Dr. Dunnigan recalled in the early 80s a lecture he, he attended back in 1969. The lecturer, Dr. Richard Day, an insider, he started the lecture by stating, there will be no recording of this lecture, no pens, no pencils, no note-taking. And then he went on to talk about what was going to be coming to the United States. And if you don't know anything about this, you can watch the videos on this or you can read this. And as you're reading, you will hear or read Everything that Dr. Day talked about, the changes that were coming to the United States of America, you're living it right now. These are the subjects that Dr. Day spoke about, the changes, the changes. Okay, I do want to bring your attention to, he stated that people will have to get used to change. There will be changes that would be very surprising and in some ways difficult for people to accept. But he also talked about bridges collapsing, dams busting, trains crashing, planes uh, crashing. And he talked about how there will be no roots or moorings, nothing will be permanent, there will be no security everything will be made to break down and we're living that but he also said people are too trusting people don't ask the right the right questions sometimes being too trusting dr day equated with being too dumb well guess what people don't ask the right questions and if they don't wake up soon enough they will experience their lives being destroyed just like the countless millions of Americans who have already been destroyed. Who is this guy? John Trump? John Trump. Hmm. Donald Trump's brother. The connection between the Trumps and Nikola Tesla? The connection? John Trump, Donald's uncle, he was the man selected to go in and review Nikola Tesla's papers after Nikola Tesla was murdered. Donald Trump gave an interview years ago before he was president and he said this about his brother, he was a brilliant man, we have very good genetics, spoken like a true narcissist, but he also said this, he revealed that his uncle would tell Donald, many years ago, about the power of weapons someday, that the destructive force of these weapons would be so massive that it's going to be a scary world. Guess what? 
we have been living in that world for many, many years. And the destructive force of the weapons we see take place all over. Now, the upper, now it's the upper peninsula, Michigan, Wisconsin, and more is coming. One destructive weapon is an earthquake weapon ultrasonic or acoustic weapon to destroy runways, buildings, bridges. The weapon will generate a very strong acoustic wave that causes structures to resonate and thereby destroy them. Extremely low frequency transmitter sites. This one is very powerful. It is in Cutler, Maine, Gwen Towers that are littered all over the country. Ground-based frequencies, GWEN means Ground Wave Emergency Network. They emit very powerful frequencies through the ground. Think about all of those roads. But they can also emit frequencies into the atmosphere. High power, extremely low frequency radiation generated by modulated High frequency heating of the ionosphere can cause earthquakes, cyclones, localized heating, and a tremendous amount of rain. And you have in Wisconsin an extremely low frequency facility in Clam Lake. So within the red lines, the boundary lines, this is the Upper Peninsula. Lake Linden is at Houghton or Houghton. The videos that you saw, their roads gone, a lot of flash flooding in this area. I want you to pay particular attention to Marquette. Look how close Marquette is to the Upper Peninsula. Why is that important? On the 17th, Marquette had extremely low frequencies, extremely low frequencies. They were intense and they were emitted for actually a long time. I'm pointing out the defined lines. Those are the frequencies. As well, your neighbor Canada had an awful lot, as it usually does, ultra low frequencies and next red heart brings the high frequency heating coming from Doppler radar. That's why we call them next red harp rings. These frequencies can cause an awful lot of damage, destruction, and that's what we are living. So this is the storm, and it's right above Michigan with next red harp rings, high frequency heating right there at the top. And you can see the circle, the very defined beginnings of a circle. That means high frequency heating is being used right there. And the ultra low frequencies you can see right there. This is the bottom of the storm. This is uh, going into Wisconsin. Tried to blow it up as much as I could, but yeah, all the arrows, frequency signatures. And yes, you were being heated at the same time. So nothing surprises me when I see those frequencies. The high frequency heating with the high power, extremely low frequencies. Cyclones, earthquakes, roads disappearing. That's what you get.